Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenzie Craig Michaels. And if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you like it. Make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section and make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for future notifications. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. That's all I can say. I cannot say anything out except for anything more than Oh my sweet mother of God, what is going on in this craziness? This craziness, it feels like there's an apocalypse coming. And when I say apocalypse, I mean like people think it's the end of the world. It is not the end of the world, I'm telling you that. It's not the end of the world. However, you know, I went to the grocery store last night. There is no toilet paper on the shelves. There's no toilet paper in Walmart. There is completely empty shelves. There's hardly any canned goods. And this is in Canada. Um, so I went to Loblaws and I picked up a few things. Thank gosh, I got my toilet paper last week. I picked up paper towels today, but they are limiting and kind of like rationing quantities as well. So we all need to be prepared and we all need to take, you know, safety precautions as well, especially in cosmetics, especially um, as a pro makeup artist and beauty influencer and skincare expert, it's so, so important. So this video is actually titled Apocalypse and how to be hygienic with your makeup brushes. So before we dive into that, I'm gonna show you exactly how I clean my makeup brushes so that you don't make any mistakes if you're going to a friend's place and applying makeup brushes and makeup application techniques onto them, or if you're going to any retailer such as Sephora, such as any other retailer, fine department store that's in Canada, United States, Alta Beauty, anywhere in Europe as well, in the UK, or just in general in the rest of the world. So one housekeeping thing that needs to be talked about is the secret contest that's going on for all my new subscribers. Thank you, new subscribers, for joining me. I totally appreciate your support. And for all my subscribers in general, don't miss out on this March giveaway. So I showed on my earlier channel episode of the little snakeskin bag, which has a value of over $250, ladies girls, teenagers, men, it makes a great gift to give to somebody. You really should enter the contest. All you have to do is go onto my channel, subscribe, get your family and friends to subscribe, and just say, so-and-so sent me to your channel, I have subscribed to your channel, and I'll record it and make sure that your name is entered into the draw for the skincare contest. So without further ado, I want to show you how to be clean, cleanliness in cosmetics, especially when it refers to makeup brush application. So what I do is I actually have, this is one of my makeup brushes, which is filled with makeup brushes. And you know, these are all clean. And if you, if you can't see, I apologize, I'm in my kitchen. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see all this. So these brushes are all clean. These brushes are all dirty. These are the ones from Tarte Cosmetics, which are, you know, cruelty free and not tested on animals and they're all synthetic as well. And that's what's really great is because you can actually use alcohol on them and you want to make sure that you're using a 70% to 90%. Even if you can get higher than 90% alcohol, you want to be using that to spritz down your brushes. Now what I do is I spritz them down with alcohol, usually let them sit for a couple of minutes, but I don't want this video to be too long. So I let them sit for a couple of minutes. I'm just going to show you exactly what I do. We're just going to take three brushes here. Hopefully you guys can still see me. So using alcohol, we're just going to take the brush Spritz over top. We're going to lay it down on my paper towel here because we are going to wash them. Spritz. 
with 90% alcohol. Spritz with 90% alcohol. So I've just spritzed these three makeup brushes with alcohol. Now, what I usually use is shampoo or conditioner or pomolive dish soap or something that's gonna remove all traces of makeup and condition the brush hairs as well. And make sure that you're never double dipping your brushes when you're applying onto a client. <clears throat> so when I'm saying double dipping, I'm referring to taking a blush brush, applying it into the blush, applying it to the client and then taking the same makeup blush brush and applying it to another client without having the brushes cleaned in between. So if you're going to Sephora, if you're going to a makeup counter, make sure that you physically see them clean the brushes in front of you and that there is no makeup collection on the brushes. When I say makeup collection, I'm referring to makeup product. So these have been spritzed. They would normally, you know, set for five, 10 minutes. And now what we're gonna do, I'm turning on my sink with lukewarm water. It's coming on. And like I said, I usually use shampoo or conditioner, usually shampoo to remove all residual traces of makeup that's on these brushes. So we're gonna start off with the first brush. And with this, you wanna make sure that nothing actually gets into the furrow. This is called the furrow of the brush. So when you're actually swirling it around with your shampoo or conditioner onto, what I do is I swirl it onto the back, actually in here in the middle of my hand, and then just squeeze out the excess. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just actually using Pomolive dish soap, and I'm gonna put a little dab into my hand like so, and using lukewarm water, I'm actually gonna swirl this first into the brush, the bristles of the hair, and then using lukewarm water, if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm actually just gonna swirl and emulsify the product. And you get a nice foamy lather and this will actually clean your makeup brushes. Now what you can also do, if you have a lot of makeup brushes, you can get a little container, put your makeup brushes in them, put a solution in them as well, Max sells a brush cleaning solution, put about an inch to two inches off that, inchly into your tumbler, and let them soak for about mm, half an hour or so. And now what I'm doing is I'm squeezing from the nickel furl down, because you, you can see the product coming off here. It's actually running down my arm. You can see it coming off. Hopefully you guys can see this coming off. And I'm swirling again just to make sure I get any residue off the makeup brushes. And you can actually see the bronzer the highlighting color. So until it actually runs clear, you're gonna keep doing this until it's ready. So once that's done, you're gonna set it onto your paper towel, flat like this to dry. Set it down, set it down over here so you guys can see. And then you're gonna continue the process with your other brushes as well. So, you can actually purchase makeup um, cleansing products. MAC has an excellent makeup um, brush cleaner, and like I said, all you need to do is probably put a couple of inches in. You're gonna swirl it around your makeup brushes, let them soak, and then if you want to be super hygienic, you can actually wash them as well with either a shampoo or conditioner. So, that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I hope this video helps you with learning how to cleanse your makeup brushes. Make sure that you're using soap and you know water to wash your hands and hand sanitizer afterwards to help with this pandemic that's happening. And make sure that you listen to the Canadian, US or European 
uh, health authority as to what you need to do to protect yourself from this apocalypse that's apparently on its way. And if you haven't got your toilet paper, I'd suggest you going and getting it right now because there is a serious shortage. Cheers, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Cheers.